Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm Robin Niblett, and I want to say some quick words of welcome to all of you at the beginning before we kick off this inaugural, hopefully, uh, London conference. Uh, there are extra seats coming in on that side, and hopefully a few will appear on that side as well. Sorry for those of you who will get a seat in a minute. You're never quite sure if everyone's going to turn up at the beginning for conferences like this in London. You've been to many yourselves, I'm sure, so you'll know. Just bear with us for a little bit while we get a few more seats in on that side for those of you who are arriving now. This is uh, 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 just a great pleasure for us to take on this conference. Chatham House uh, thought long and hard um, about taking on the responsibility of running a conference that is grandly called the London Conference. Um, the British government has run a number of London conferences on specific issues, uh, cybersecurity, Somalia, uh, combating sexual violence uh, against women, uh, coming up, I think it is next week. Um, but what we felt was that there had not been, to date, to my knowledge at least, a conference uh, in London that took the time to think about the big issues of globalization and world order. Um, London is an international capital. It is a place where uh, a crossroads, I suppose, for countries, sectors, individuals from all over the world to come together and think about the future. And we want to take advantage, I suppose, of that hub-like quality of this city uh, and be able to involve uh, a conversation that thinks about the future, not through sectors, but the big questions. I suppose one of the challenges for us is can we go behind the headlines in today's conference? That is one of the main objectives that we've set ourselves today. We are all inevitably and correctly obsessed about what's happening uh, in Russia, Ukraine, about what's taking place uh, in Asia, about what's happening across the Middle East. Um, the world is looking pretty dangerous at the moment uh, and pretty unpredictable. Um, but we hope that today we'll try to go a bit behind the headlines and dig ourselves into the issues from a more structural standpoint. And hence the agenda that you've seen before you. And hence, hopefully, if you've had a chance to look at it, the set of papers that we prepared for this conference, which you will find inside your information packs. Now, let me just say right at the beginning, so I don't spend too long and eat too much into our first uh, coffee break, that uh, we would not be able, obviously, to do this conference without the support of uh, a number of institutions, uh, and in this case, principally companies as well. So I'd like to do a very special thanks right at the beginning to Accenture, um, and I'd also like to be able to thank uh, Chevron for their roles as founding partners of this London conference. And a very strong thanks as well to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office for giving us the opportunity to hold uh, this meeting in this wonderful uh, uh, set of premises and for all of their support uh, for this conference, to Rio Tinto and to Bloomberg, who helped put together uh, as well as uh, the little intro you saw there, but they're also hosting the wonderful dinner we'll have this evening at the British Museum. So a very special thanks to all of them. These conferences, these types of events are not possible uh, without their support. So a, a big thank you.